Hey, Jim Parquet here with VPX Baseball, and today I'm going to elaborate further on launch angles, and we're going to take you on over here, and I'm going to start swinging the bat so you can see how it correlates with uh, what you're trying to accomplish, right? Launch angles, very controversial, a lot of people saying different things about it, but I can tell you, since I, I've been on a big league mound for a lot of years, as well as I train at the big league level on hitting and pitching, uh, major division one college level, I can tell you this. There's a lot of information out there at those levels and they know that they kind of have a good idea, but they don't necessarily know exactly, right? It's not theorem just yet. But bottom line is this, launch angle, right? Is you matching launch angle or, or creating a launch angle to match pitch plane and how it cuts the zone, okay? We all know that we shouldn't be coming straight down because that's ground balls, chop balls, on goes the story. And the way that the game is being played right now, this right here, when we slot early, should be pretty flat. If it's an, a lower pitch, a little lower, a little higher, right? Depending upon the pitch. But uh, check out our other videos on the full explanation of launch angles and how they correlate into your swing. But we're gonna take you on over here. So we got a pitch right here that I'm just gonna throw up, right? This $10 million pitch, we talk about it all the time. We're creating an impact style hitter here at VPX, not a guy who just hits the ball or, or punching Judy or gets on base. Impact hitting, right? And in order to be an impact hitter, you got the $10 million pitch. Put this into the stands and you make $10 million. If you just hit this and get your base hits and get on, you're probably still gonna be pretty successful, but you're not gonna make 10 million, right? So here on this right here, okay? We're gonna start with what is actually the launch angle for this pitch, right? It's up out over the plate. As a hitter, let me tell you one thing. You do not consciously create a launch angle. What you do is set yourself up for success through a launch angle that matches pitch plane. This pitch is gonna be a little flatter, right? Because the pitcher is not trying to get this ball right here. He was trying to get there and he missed, right? Big league pitchers miss about four out of 10 times. So this is that four out of 10 times, I'm looking to eat fastball. I got it up out over the plate. I'm not gonna sit here and try to match or, or create a launch angle to match this. What I'm gonna do is try to hit this. And if I do all of the things right, what's going to happen is I'm gonna have a great launch angle that matches this pitch plane, okay? So this is what it should look like and I'll show you what I'm actually doing. This is what it should look like, right? Right here, boom. Pretty much up the middle, for the most part, to a little pull side is where this ball should end up. Remember, seven out of 10 times, pitchers and hitters counts at the big level are throwing the ball outside. But eight out of 10 times, these balls are being pulled from about second base to second base men, or as a, as a, as a righty, it'd be on the opposite, right? So how am I able to do this? Just watch the swing again. I'm gonna put the component together, and there it is, okay? Not a big league hitter, but can hit a little, and so I kind of showed you somewhat of what it should look like. So what am I doing here to create the proper launch angle to hit this? Well, it's pretty simple. The first aspect of good at having good launch angle is making sure that I have a position of power and I maintain staying above the ball at all times. As soon as I drop below the ball, that could be my head, and I plane dropping, so wherever you set that, if I'm right here or if I'm right here, wherever I am, don't drop below that. As soon as you do, everything else drops, okay? Maintain height above the baseball, or what we say in the industry, stay above the baseball, keep your hands above the baseball, don't get below the baseball because we know that creates too many issues. So height, staying stacked, okay? The second thing that I'm doing in this is I'm creating good separation. The bigger my separation, this is why you see this guy in every slot in the big league lineup. You don't see this guy. This guy here is not there unless he's trying to do something different with the ball, situation, two strikes, whatever it is. But if I'm on this pitch and I'm in a good hitter's count and I'm trying to do damage with this, what am I doing? I see this guy, big separation. You see this all the way through from Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, all the way up to Bryce Harper. Um, you've, got, you've got hitters who are, are, are power hitters, you've got hitters who are um, Asian based, Latino based, whatever, they for some reason all have the same um, stance. They all set themselves up the same. The reason why, again, 
because they're trying to move energy properly. In order to create my launch angle correctly, to match this pitch plane, I've got to have big range of motion to move because the bigger my range of motion here, okay, the bigger the range, the more power I can create, the later I can rotate my hips because we know at that point I'm committed, I'm pot committed there, and the earlier I start my angle. There's the launch angle, okay? Watch what happens when I'm short. Cage bomber lifestyle, later. Here is where I'm about to do it. I'm already pot committed, okay? Big separation right there. We're talking that big difference. That's like a marathon. That's like the Boston Marathon in baseball terms. When the ball's coming this hard, inches matter. Inches matter, okay? So again, here we go. Big separation, boom. Good slot, I'm already in it. I'm already on you, right? I have a good chance to put some good wood on this. Small separation, about right here. I'm already out front of the baseball. I'm already pot committed, right? We obviously know there's a reason why, whether you're Latino, whether you're Asian, whether you're a white guy, whether you had a ton of training, a little training, whether you play softball, or whether you play baseball. These hitters from Ted Williams, where the average major league fast was probably 82 miles an hour to now it's 93-ish. Power hitter, punch and judy hitter, whatever it is, big separation. You see it, just Google it, you'll see. There we are, okay? Now from this position, I'm setting myself up and more importantly, everybody, this is the most important on creating a great launch angle, is you've given yourself time time to do damage, time to prepare, time for your body and your kinetic chain reaction to align. The more time we have as hitters, the better we're gonna be, right? So if I am right here, can I match? Yeah, can I match with this short separation, but I have less time, gotta do too much, might not be good. But if I have a lot of time, bam, a lot of time, a lot of time, look at how much time I have to really set myself up for success, right? So if I did the two swings, you tell me which one you'd want to have, right? Here's a small separation, okay? You can see, pulls off too early. I'm starting at about right here for the angle. Big separation. You can see which one you want, right? Well, I hope that you agree. If you're not agreeing, you never played at the top level of the game or you are just, I just don't agree, okay? <laughs> because this swing right here gives you so much more opportunity to be successful, okay? I'm putting good wood on it. It's just being popped up. We're never gonna be perfect as a hitter. Again, big separation, boom. That creates my launch angle early, and then I have time back in here to really set up for this pull, okay? You guys get the idea. Put it all together one more time, just so you can see right here, boom. Okay. Next aspect of your launch angle is your front foot, getting it down. That last swing I rolled and I did it on purpose. If you wanna go back and see it, you just, just rewind here, but I landed and then got my heel down, but I rotated too early, okay? If I do that, then it comes off, all right? So in order to create a launch angle, I have good separation, right? good separation, and then I came in, I slotted, but I started slotting by getting my front foot down into the ground. I already started my slot, which takes me here rather than here, okay? So I'm already out front, then I gotta roll, okay? So again, I'm gonna go here, good separation. I'm going to bring the slot in by putting the front heel down, and you can see where I'm at. This is where I've now matched, okay? So we're gonna say it's about right here, all right? Watch what happens when I get this separation, front foot comes down. Front foot down, watch what happens. I've matched right here, okay? So in real terms, if I didn't get my front foot down, roll, there we are. 463 double play, thanks for coming. If I get the front foot down, I actually, I'm gonna be exaggerating on it, there you see, big difference, right? So 
let's look at the little, the, 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 the lower one, okay? How do I get this and how do I create a better launch angle for this? Well, it's pretty simple. I just extend. I do the same stuff, but I just extend my barrel through it, right? I throw the barrel longer to maintain that launch angle, which requires me to match that pitch plane a little lower, right? So I'm gonna throw the barrel more here. There it is, right? So I'll try to exaggerate it for you and throw this barrel a little more, okay? Boom, I see that ball's down there. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna slot and create this. Now I'm just gonna throw that barrel a little more here, okay? So you're getting the idea of what I'm trying to accomplish. If I put it all together here, I'm gonna throw the barrel more. There it is, okay? That inside ball is that inside pitch. If it had a good separation and I was just here and then I came down, I can't even get to that ball. I mean, it's, it's virtually impossible to get to that, okay? Small, that's way foul. That's first base dugout. But if I created big separation, okay, and I got my front foot down, that's to the second baseman right there, okay? If I put it all together here, that's second base. So you can see, launch angles are created, and, and they're, 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 they're created for you here. Then you're going to set yourself up for the hit and start to fine tune that launch angle back here subconsciously. And then, then that's during your barrel lag. And then at the right moment, you throw your hands and you're successful, right? Because what you've done is you've identified pitch plane basically, and this is all subconscious. You've set yourself up on the right alignment and then you're gonna be able to put a good swing on the baseball, right? At the end of the day, launch angle is very controversial. There's a lot of information out there, but I can tell you there are some constants. One, you don't personally consciously create that launch angle when the ball's coming 95 with sliders behind and that kind of stuff, or maybe at your level 80, 85, or whatever it is. You're just trying to compete. And in order to compete, you have to have good separation, make sure your front foot gets into the ground, and therefore you're gonna slot earlier and get your barrel in the zone earlier and keep it there longer. Hope you like this video. You, you uh, check out our other videos. We'd love to see your comments. Put them on down below. We've got a full line of products at our website uh, to get you to the big leagues.